As I told you when uh, we were in the chapel of the Black Madonna, after St. Anthony's vocal apparatus was found intact in 1263, his mortar remains were placed in a marble sarcophagus in the center of the basilica. Well, this fresco shows us how a group of devotees and sick people crowded around his tomb while the saint was interceding from them from heaven. St. Anthony's body was later placed in the chapel dedicated to him, and so the marble sarcophagus was used as an altar for one of the most beautiful chapels in the basilica, the chapel of Blessed Luke Belludi, where I am now. But who was this friar whose mortar remains rest in the tomb above the altar? History tells us very little about Luke Belludi. Certainly, this Franciscan friar was very close to St. Anthony during the years when he lived here in Padua. Besides being a devoted friend, Luke was also a precious collaborator of St. Anthony, even helping him in drafting the famous sermones. He was also very close to him in the last days of his illness and death. A learned man he is said to have uh, attended the renowned University of Padua, Luke also had a deep spirituality, and he was so much loved by people that many began to venerate him as a saint soon after his death. History also suggests that uh, he was uh, very involved in the liberation of Padua from the terrible tyrant Ezzelino da Romano. And in fact, as you can see in the fresco behind me, through the power of his prayers and the intercession of St. Anthony, Padua was finally liberated in 1256. All the frescoes in the Chapel of Blessed Luke were made around 1382 by Giusto de Menabuoi, a Florentine painter who was probably one of Giotto's pupils. On the right and left walls, the paintings narrate events related to the Apostle Philip and James the Lesser. However, since uh, these are not story related uh, to the Holy Scripture, the artist felt uh, the need to place uh, explanatory writings below the images, that is, captions, like those we find today in our newspapers, magazines, and even in textbooks. And by the way, Blessed Luke is also the patron saint of students, in fact, students of all levels, often stop here in this chapel to pray to bless Luke, once himself a student, to help them complete their studies or pass a difficult exam. Of particular interest is the fresco, also by Giusto de Benabuoi, that appears above the tomb of Blessed Luke. In the center, we see Our Lady enthroned with the child Jesus. Next to her, we see Anthony and Blessed Luke on the right, and St. Francis and St. Ludwig of Anjou on the left. The four Franciscan saints are introducing two brothers, Naimerio and Manfredino Conti, to Our Lady. But who are these people? Who are they? You may ask. Well, they are the sponsors, those who commissioned both the construction of the chapel and the painting of its frescoes in 1382. The sermons or sermones are the great literary and theological work that St. Anthony has left us. He wrote them for the specific purpose of providing the Franciscan friars of his time with the tool to educate the faithful in the Christian life and make them understand the, of the great teaching of the Gospel. Therefore, now let's pray that our dear St. Anthony may also help us to pay more attention to the teachings of the Lord. Dear St. Anthony, who with your teaching have been a light for the Holy Church and for the world. May we always willingly listen to the voice of the Lord. Amen.